In this video, you will learn how to complete a transition using the First Connections Comprehensive Data System. If you have not done so, please complete the introduction to the First Connections Comprehensive Data System, Client Intake, IFSP, and IFSP Review videos before continuing. Recall from the IFSP and review training videos that the Transition tab provides information about key transition milestones. Let's assume that a child is approaching his third birthday. To assist you in transition planning activities, the system provides two action due messages. First, you will receive a message 200 days prior to the child's third birthday. In addition, you will receive a message 21 days prior to the quarter in which a child will be turning three. Let's assume you are ready to begin this process. Open the individual's case file, click Transition from the case menu, and then click Begin New Transition. The conference preparation page displays. The first thing we need to do is complete the transition planning section. Let's enter the plan and begin date and select where the child will transition to from the drop-down list. Note that if the child were transitioning to any other place but home, you will need to enter the information about the facility. In this situation, we will say she is transitioning to home and is Part B eligible. Next, notice the two links under LEA Notice Due Here. The Print Notification Form link takes you to this report section for generating the LEA Quarterly Report. To generate the notification, select the quarter, the service coordinator, and then click Run Report. Note that for independent service coordinators, the provider will already be selected. However, DDS service coordinators will need to select a provider from the list of all providers. Due to the shortage of data in the training environment, we are unable to see any results. Please refer to the report section in your user guide for more information about this report. Going back to the preparation page, the Print Notice Letter link takes you to the Notices and Communications page where you can print the cover sheet for the notification form. Going back to the preparation page again, the remainder should look very familiar to you after completing the intake, IFSP, and review videos. Here again is where you record parent contact, the meeting date, time and location, as well as print meeting notices and other relevant blank documents as needed. We'll go ahead and schedule the meeting and save this information, skipping the record parent contact and generating notices steps. For demonstration purposes, let's assume some time has passed and you are conducting a meeting, so I'll click the Conference tab. The Conference page is just like the Meeting and Attendees page you've seen in the other processes. We'll assume the meeting occurred as scheduled and that the parent was present. Remember, record other attendees such as LEA, EC representative, using the Add Another link here. Let's continue by clicking Save and Next. Next, we need to enter the steps on the transition page. 
Note that at this point, you should have already recorded a number of steps. However, for demonstration purposes, we will just enter one step so we can continue the process. For example, a step might be transfer records to EC specialists. With the person responsible being you, the service coordinator, and a start date of today. Note that you can record as many steps as you need by clicking Add Another. We're ready to continue, so we click Save and Next. The next page is for recording family ratings, just as we did for the IFSP review. The ratings from last review are carried forward and should be reevaluated re at this time. You'll notice that the transition step we just entered is now also displayed. We'll indicate the original family concern, service, as well as goals and objectives are all partially attained and that the situation is unchanged for the transition step. That's it for this page, so we click Save and Next. Goals and objective status need to be recorded on the next page. Just like the IFSP review, information that the therapist has been recording for each session feeds into this page, including the percent achieved, objective status, and the completion date if completed. Again, in an actual case, there will be many past sessions. At this point, just verify the information and make changes as necessary. Let's continue by clicking Save and Next. The Final Child Outcomes page is next. Here, much like the Child Outcomes information we recorded in the initial IFSP, we not only need to record a result summary and rating for the three standard questions, we also need to record if there was any progress made in these areas. Again, this is an area that the therapist may have already recorded some information. In this situation, we will add the required details to complete this page. For question 1A, we will say that all contributors was the source of information, and that the child final outcome is five somewhat. In the summary of relevant results field, I will enter some simulated text. And let's say that in this situation, the child has shown some new skills and behavior. So I click yes to 1B and enter a narrative in the describe progress field. I'm going to complete the rest of this page so we can continue. Okay, this page is now complete, so I click Save and Next. As is required for all meetings, we need to record the outcome of the transition meeting. I'll enter some text here and we'll be able to continue. I'll click Save and Next to move to the last page. As always, we need to obtain signatures from all of those who attended the meeting. Be sure to review the document and make any changes before completing the signature process. I'll complete this page so we can finish up. Okay, the document has been signed and the transition is essentially complete. Remember to print this document in the conference outcome notice, as well as add parent contact information. Going back to the transition page. We can see the complete status and a link to the completed transition document. Just like the intake, IFSP, and review processes, the First Connections Comprehensive Data System allows you to easily complete a transition as a result of a straightforward workflow and user-friendly interface. 
That concludes this training video.